Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I'm the squad leader squad. This is Zell and Seth. Nice to meet you. I'm the leader of the forest animals. <laughs> oh, he just not so you don't shake hands with people. Selfie and Zell do good squad lessons. But Zell didn't even get to shake a hand. Let's get on. What do we do? Uh, just take it easy here, let me introduce you. Sally's like, oh man, I didn't get to shake a hand. Looks like you already met once. I guess it's just our princess then. It's the princess's nap time, sir. Ah, man. Hey, Squall, sorry, but could you get the princess? in the last room up below the stairs. Some of the other guys are in the room on the way. Ask him if you get lost. Lazy son of a bitch. Will be hired to run errands. Well... Uh, are you angry? Go, you tell them they can't treat us that way. It's like, who do they think they are, you lazy bastards? Those guys don't seem to have it together. <laughs> That's true. Screw it, we're gonna do what we always do, though. Talk to everyone and everyone. Our prince is in the room further down. What? You're gonna wake up? Princess, you got some guts, man. The sound of the train is so relaxing. I don't know what gender you are, actually. It's a safe point here, but we've already started another part, so it's kind of pointless right now. Actually, no, it's not. If we get a game over at some point, it'd be useful to, you know, actually have a safe point to see. I've also got food, so hopefully we can keep this part a bit brief. I don't know. Let's go! It's not exactly difficult to find the room now, is it? Yes, who? to have for you yet. Um, Squall, is he here? He... Siphon? No, he's not a seed. Oh. Oh yeah, 
my name's Rinoa. Very pleased to meet you, Swell. See, you never stands quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at the dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of approach. It's expected of see to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work related. That's too bad. get to pick three character names and like the GFs in this game and the third one is a freaking dog. And Cello is really smart, here let me tell you. Oh god. Tutorial time. Renoa's limit break uses Angelo. We haven't even used limit breaks yet, I can't even remember how they work or if they even work right now or not. The tricks Angelo can learn are listed on the status screen. The first status screen lists all the tricks that Angelo can learn. The gorge on the right indicates how much has been learned. When the gorge is full, the trick has been learned. If the gorge is not full, the trick has yet to be learned. To learn a new trick, so to the trick name and press X. Now as Renova walks around, the gorge will fill up and Angelo will learn the trick. If you select a trick that has already been learned, there will be a message before you close the screen. If there is a trick to learn, be sure to select it. by reading a magazine called Pet Pals, which we can barely picked up. After reading Pet Pals, access the screen to change the settings. It makes no sense, but anyway, that's all for Renault's limit breaks. Smart, huh? There's some important work to do. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. Find the The music suddenly changes. This is Zell. He's a bit of a clown. And Selfie, she's a bit of a clown. Hi, everyone. This way. Always have to be the last one out of the room, don't you? Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance to forest owls will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? It's all started when we got hold of top secret info from Galvidia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galvidia coming to Timber. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vinzerk Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galvidia. Vincent Delling, it is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president, not even popular in Galvidia, sir. Benton Dealing is taking a private train from the Galvadian capital. Our plan is to... Lower it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Ah, uh, uh, not quite. Man, Selby, what the hell? So, get, so get to the point, just tell us what we gotta do. Shall we begin? Not decided on what kind of... I don't know. First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're right in team right now. Right in it. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it to look just like the president's car. 
that train has three cars. First is the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Dealing should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get to, uh, on this one, we begin the operation. Ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up the timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. We'll one, sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Two, proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car... Wait, that's not her anymore, is it? The second escort car is the only one that is required for sensors. Uh, uh, high-tech of... Uh, officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Proceed across the roof of the president car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Delling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't... Boom! Game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling uncoupling process later. Five, have the dummy car on our base move in after a uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and moving together. Uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Escape from the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront them. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. Which is why I saved in advance there, because I was like, not just because I needed a save point, but because I haven't saved in a while, but because this is, if I recall, kind of easy to screw up. Fail our train will collide with theirs at the switch point. We'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should take only three minutes to complete the operation. A piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course, too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second list. Well, go ahead, Watts. The guards have a second sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying the sensor. The temperature sensor will get off if you go up if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens the blind, that means he is checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye out for the window below, sir. So, exactly how do you avoid them? Um, basically, you run or stop depending on which guard is blue. So stop if there's a blue guard, run if there's a red. That's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question, how can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to uh, tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. But we have the codes Renoa has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes as well. So while you'll slide down to the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 and 4 and has 4 digits. 2341 is an example. Oh, God damn. Oh, the keypad won't have numbers, instead, it will have 4 buttons. Extra angle, circle, and square. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll put square, circle, X, track. Oh, uh, God, I've got to memorize as well. <laughs> One second then. Right, wrote it down. It looks just like YouTube is 
like, uh, on my browser page right now, so I was just like, ah, oh, screw it, I'll just type it into that. You know, just like, a circle equals one, x equals two, squared equals three, triangle equals four, because I know I will immediately forget this. So, you'll have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five seconds to enter each code. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So, like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the web rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes, so do everything so we can sure that you're okay. Okay, let's try practicing entering the code. Enter free codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold L1. What is... Confirmed. God damn it! Still doesn't make it any easier. God damn it! God damn it! This is gonna be tough because of the controls. Isn't it wrong? Ah. Uh, there. Code 2 confirmed. You got it? In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. Um, that's all. By the way, the model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, Renoa made it. That's why we brought everything else uh, to the gift store. Oh, I thought some kind of kid made it. The paint job sucks, too. Yeah, it kind of does. It's not very nice. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards Delhi. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? This is gonna fail so badly, man. I couldn't even open the scores properly. I understand. Yeah, sort of. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ow, this is my stomach. We're moving again. I'll go take To what when you're ready? The sooner the better. Not even gonna bother talking to you, you just be like, oh, why your stomach? We could technically save the game right now, actually, so we don't have to go through all that scene again. I'm 
Squall!
seven minutes? Why are we getting more and more time? Okay. Yeah. What? I did the right one that time. Bullshit. What? Oh, it's throwing me off now. No. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is really pissing me off now. Ah, oh, Jesus, tap dancing Christ, I need to change this configuration at least for this. God damn it, this is pissing me off. Food, man. Get these guys out of my freaking way. Try to enter codes. We walk with the trolls. Yep. Up, up, get the fuck up, get the fuck up. Fuck's sake, why did this have to happen to me? 
grand squall. Tip on how to uh, damn it. I'm sorry, man, but like I freaking chanced it trying to get two and one. I should have done that. Yeah, I got it. One more time. Let's do this. Oh damn. It's embarrassing. Why do we get more time each time we fail? Or is it actually less time? Get back up there and wait it out. Now they're gonna take their time this time, aren't they? Bastards, I tell you, bastards. Look at that idiot running back and forth. That's right, get it. my time, big man. You're wasting my time, big man. Go, 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 go. Thank you. 